Hey everyone, guess what? We are switching roles today. Uh, we're driving down to Northern Kentucky. It's like a two hour drive to a competition. We've got a bunch of people from our gym competing. We've got some teams, a couple of the individuals. And today, Christy's gonna be coaching and I am gonna be competing for a change. I am so excited. I can't tell you the last time I got to watch Pat actually compete. I think it was actually when we met. So we met at across the competition. Pat was competing and I was spectating. And that's kind of how our first couple of years of CrossFit always went. And then recently it's kind of flipped. Well, that wasn't the last time you saw me compete. That was the first time you saw me compete. Okay, first so, time. So actually, when was the last time I competed? Regionals, what? 2018. 20, the last regionals. But I rarely ever get to see him at regionals because typically the way the guys and the girls work is like the girls will go and then I'm cooling down while he potentially is going or he's warming up or whatever. So it's always mad chaos. So to actually be there as not a competitor and just a spectator, or I'll call myself coach, is gonna be super fun. Yeah, we, we tried doing a couple team things together actually and it never panned out. We've never gotten to compete together. We tried quite a few times. Last one was West Coast Classic right before everything started getting canceled, which would have been super fun and we had a fun team to go with. But this will be, I guess this will be the first competition. No, you actually competed with first one. Yeah. So second competition since like yeah. everything got shut down. But it should be a bunch of fun. We're in a little bit of traffic right now, but we're getting close and we'll keep you guys posted. First thing that's really fun, we've got um, eight rounds of five handstand push-ups, uh, three bar, three burpees over the bar, and one power clean 205. So it's a super quick workout. I kinda like that time frame. I like all the movements. Just pedal with the metal and go. I don't need to be too warm for this one. I just uh, or anything specific really for me personally. I just need to kind of get my heart rate up so I can feel like I can attack it from the beginning. Like I expected. He stuck to the game plan. Go out hot and hang on. Let's see what he has to say about it. By the way, he got the win. That was fun. I really like that event. It was super quick. Um, I think I finished in 220 something. But Start drinking some sugar. I'll have some Gatorade just to get some hydration, some carbs, and some sugar to kind of replenish. It wasn't a whole lot of breakdown in that one. Uh, triceps are a little bit fried, but just kind of get hydrated and some carbs in for the next one. All right, so we are getting ready for event number two. It's going to be a max clean front squat jerk you can do a squat clean or a power clean but you have to accomplish a hundred calorie row for the guys so he can row and get off and lift row lift row lift but you have to hit that hundred calories in 15 minutes and then your max lift counts so we'll get ready to cheer him on um i'm doing pretty good um i lifted i hit 320 for clean front squat jerk and i missed 330. um i caught the i caught my clean weird and then the front squat was just a lot harder than it should have been and missed the jerk. But overall, I'm pretty happy with that. It was a fun event. I rode the 100 calories up front just to kind of get that over with. It felt warm. Just took a handful of lifts to get up there. So what are you fun. doing now? Are you going to eat something? Uh, more sugar, basically. Maybe an English muffin? Yeah, some something just to get my stomach. But mostly, I just kind of want some carbs. I don't like to feel too full during a competition. So but it is mostly important. it's the... Maybe some oats? Yeah, something. Definitely need... You have to fuel during competition, so big mistake would just be staying on an empty stomach even though that kind of feels natural. You've got to replenish or your performances are just going to go downhill. So mostly it'll be kind of liquid carbs, but I definitely want something solid as well. So we had a slight miscommunication between athlete and coach. I'm coach. He hit 320. It looked amazing. He had 325 on the bar and I said, that's good. But I think he thought he had the two and a half in his hand. He thought I meant the two and a half. So we made the jump from 320 to 330 and he missed it. But it was still a really good attempt. Really happy with the clean in the front squat and the jerk was there. We'll show those attempts for you guys. But if you have a coach, make sure you are on the same page as them because we, we had a slight miscommunication, but that's okay. So I missed the first half of event number three because I went to Chipotle because I was really hungry to get food and it took longer than I thought. So I only caught the second half. So I'm sorry, you guys don't get to see his power snatch and his toes to bar, but you got to see the end of the workout and you don't get to see the double unders in the middle, but he's really good at double unders. And you guys know that and you see him do double unders all the time, but let's catch up with him and see what he thought of it. And he can tell us about the first half as well. Here she, go. She said I'm good at double unders, but if you guys remember me counting her open score, I might not be the best counter at double unders. Um, Did you like, trip? Um, no, I actually didn't trip this time. I took calculated breaks instead of um, going to failure. Um, I tried to keep my heart rate lower. There's 100 double unders in the middle of a workout, and I picked 50, 30, 20, just to keep my heart rate a little bit lower and not get to a point where I was just tripping. I kept my sets manageable, tried to manage my heart rate, and it seemed like a really good game plan. Um, something else that I think kind of proved um, to work today is that we, there was a bunch of snatches, and it was 95 pounds, which is fairly light, and I went singles the entire way. Um, and that ended up being faster. So I just planted my feet, 
followed the bar down, but not holding on to it allowed me to kind of keep my heart rate at a better uh, place instead of jacking it up, trying to hold on, and it proved to definitely be the faster game plan. So it's don't be afraid to do smaller sets or even singles on movements like those, as long as you can keep moving. So far I'm having tons of fun as coach. I think I'm maybe ready to hang up my hat and just act as Patrick's coach from now on. However, the one little fart or brain fart was going to Chipotle when I realized his event was happening. So I came flying in trying to figure out where he was and everyone was laughing at me. But it's brain been- Brain fart slash first priority. Fast, hangry. <laughs> Um, but we're having tons of fun and I love sharing this with you guys. It's fun to watch Patrick compete because he's so experienced. He's made regionals all seven years um, and he's competed a lot. So just to see him back on the floor is super, super fun and he's smart. Like a lot of the guys after him came up to that event and couldn't believe he went singles from the start on the snatches. But it's just knowing yourself and knowing the game plan is like unbroken is not always faster. So remember that. Two, one, The win, which was really exciting. He beat all of his practice times. How was it, Pat? It was great. They did a really good job running that competition, and I had a blast. It's been a long time since I've done one by myself for an individual, um, and it was a lot of fun. To be honest, what I think really helped him is experience. So if you want to compete and you want to get into competing, just start doing local stuff. The more you do, the more you learn. So that way you know, like if everybody's hanging out on the barbell going touch and go, and you know singles are gonna be better for you, you can stick to your own game plan. So just kind of keep that in mind if competing or competition is something that you wanna get into. Thanks for tuning in. We had so much fun filming this, and we are looking forward to the next one, which will be my competition at the Grana Game. Have a great day, guys.